Hello and Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome to today's video. So today's video is about going to Muzdalfa and how it was the experience. So basically, as soon as the Maghrib fell, we uh, our coach was ready and we went on bus uh, and started our journey toward Muzdalfa. And as you can see, different people going through their own different resources and some people going even through trucks, uh, which was a bit strange. But yeah, unfortunately, you see lots of people either going through walk, going through trains, going through whatever transport they can get or that has been arranged because uh, based on the category or group or the services you have paid for you get the services and luckily alhamdulillah uh, our bus was ready as soon as the maghrib fell actually to be exact we were sitting in the bus and as soon as the maghrib time started we started our journey uh, towards um uh, Muzdalfa and this is basically the camp uh, like the site where we were supposed to come and we come, uh, came quite early and you can see there the people are still coming the buses are arriving and there is lots of space so the carpets were provided we found the space near to the washroom but not too near uh, just so that to avoid that once it gets crowded and smelly uh, we are not impacted so this is the place where we thought it would be a good place to stay and uh, spend the night and people are settling down as you can see now there are more people uh, it, this is after like half an hour or so and much much more people are now occupied there is no fixed place anyone can sit anywhere so as soon as you come you occupy your carpet and space and again after further 20-30 minutes you can see how gradually uh, it is becoming more and more crowded and the washroom gets crowded as well so there is a female washroom and a male uh, washroom nearby So the, the main purpose is to give you an idea and you now you can see the people are getting ready to even sleep as well and some people have used their own mats and this is this was my mat and we were actually counting and gathering the pebbles as well for Rami because it's a sunnah to gather the pebbles and this is actually just to show you people are gathering the pebbles for Rami for the next uh, three days uh, because this is the night of uh, Muzdalfa where we're going to be everyone going to be sleeping open open air and this is the place where we were so now it's the night time and almost majority of the people are asleep you can see some umbrellas open so females basically prefer to just for a uh, sake of cover they open some umbrellas and the males are now settled down and everyone is actually settled down and tired and so this is the fajr time now the fajr time is coming and people are starting to move again people are waking up uh, and that's the thing I, I woke up as well to offer tahajjud and this is once we are leaving this is how the situation looks like so uh, after performing the fajr prayer we are have started to move so majority of the people leave their beddings or whatever pray, uh, mats they have brought because you need to walk a lot on this day you need to walk and here we were not providing any buses we had to walk to for rami uh for to uh, back to jamarat and that's why even we left our mats and whatever possible over there so this is the idea is to give you an uh, the, the purpose is to give you an idea that how it looks like how the facilities were uh, but it was overall okay no, no major complaints uh, hope this video is useful if you want you can see the other footage as well for 2024 hajj for mina and uh, arafat as well then lastly some pictures again for washroom the, this is the area and same pictures so hope you like the video if you like please do subscribe and share and if you have any comment let me know thanks for watching take care allah hafiz till next time assalam